Right. Anyway, uh, we'll watch this and this is an interesting game that uh, Zef Zine Tech has found. Excuse me, can I get this? Mirai, mirai. Uh, so, Seth is weird and that he sometimes goes on tangents that we're not even sure what the hell he's talking about. It was another one of those nights. They had the same nightmare. Walt Disney let their Wait, isn't property Seth the person that ended up commissioning all that not safe for work art of for God Hand? Yes. <sighs> what a strange, strange creature. That's all I can say. <laughs> I felt sick, but thinking of vomit made me think of Pepsi, so I held it in. My oh dear God, I can't. I hate Pepsi. It tastes like the worst version of Diet Coke I've ever seen. I. Yeah, I've never had. Pepsi. It's not good. It's basically super Diet Coke. Like there's no zing to it. It's like basically bland soda. was acting up. Pacemaker says I'm dangerously close to dropping below type 2. I needed something to calm my nerves. A Krispy Kreme, Coke Vanilla, and a needle Coke of heroin. Just Wait, what? Doctor ordered. And I think we communicated... Oh my god. Language barrier. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what's going on. Clerical Hebrew. I can't I'm concerned. This is supposed to be a video about a video game, right? Yes, this is this is just how Seth starts things, and we don't know what he's going on about most of the time. I go for a walk. I'm cutting down, which is Look. why I cut off the filter. Like a dog what? in you its stomach, I send the tobacco a clear message. I trust you. People pass by what the hell? log into my Twitter alt and send out a credible threat to a Minecraft YouTuber. What? It's not about the recognition. It's about doing our part. This is a city that never sleeps. Once I saw what? a man standing off the side of a pier, tears rolling down his eyes as he told me, I can't trust anyone. That's why I ride myself. He auto-filleted himself on the spot and rolled away like what? a powered wheel. Never did what? chance his name. Scammer. What? Just, I don't okay. understand what's going on anymore. I legitimately... I I don't know what Seth talks about sometimes. Like I said, we have no idea what he ever talks about. It's just, he goes on, and I have no idea what's happening. Yeah, because this is supposed to be a review of a game, and he's just, <laughs> he's just talking about doing hardcore drugs, and apparently guys doing stuff to themselves. I, I don't understand, and apparently he threatened a Minecraft YouTuber at one point. What? <laughs> what the hell is going on? I don't know. Chat, Chat, please. Please explain what's going on if all possible. You can't, I understand. <laughs> Kaizen v -Love Always plus expect the unexpected with this guy. I, I yes. understand that because this, this, this is a new level. Apparently he's now the Terminator as well. If someone's an incel oh or a committed holocule. But more importantly, if they have any spare change, I <laughs> don't beg for money. As for spare change. And that's it. My name As 41 times. <laughs> I, I, I just... Okay. I don't know why. Scene tech, private investigator, professional gang stalker. And <laughs> he threw a beer bottle at a random person on the street. <laughs> oh my god. For the next 50 minutes. After that, I gotta buy something. Why am I telling you? We're standing this? here. He's gotta together. buy something. We're gonna clean up these streets. Hey, He's gang, punching gang, random people. I've been distracted. I can't. Stay I've here. actually seen people play this game. Once, once human. I have no idea what it's about. Once human. An all-new, free-to-play, post-apocalyptic, open-world. I do like the idea of giant robots attacking. Releasing July 9th. The game takes place after a cosmic. Oh, invasion. I know what once human is. Uh, it's essentially like. I guess you could say, um, uh, it's like an open world game where they kind of took some ideas from Pal World where you can, like, tame creatures to your advantage and use them for different abilities and stuff like that. It's just an open world game that's kind of jumping on the hype with a lot of other games doing that lately. It it's, it's weird. I don't understand much about it because this one YouTuber I watched that played the open beta and then got sponsored oh. again, they're like, they're like, hey, we're gonna show you some stuff. They proceed to show you nothing of the game. It's just oh. like, well, hope you enjoyed the video. It's just like, 
you're probably getting paid a lot for 15 minutes of crap, yeah. aren't you? The life. I, I can That's understand life. sometimes doing that because it's life sometimes, but I usually I like it when they're very clearly doing it that they're like saying, Hi, hey, I'm being sponsored. Probably don't listen to my opinion. Yeah, that, that's literally the thing is they instantly start the video with thank you for sponsoring. It's just like, oh, so it's just you just not really going to do anything besides mess around and then get money for it. Got it. Which yeah. is fair, I guess, because they're being sponsored. But if you're going to be sponsored for like a game like this, at least explain a little bit of the gameplay. I know it's not a review video or whatever, but just kind of explain what your thoughts are on the game. Not, oh, hey, we just messed around and it, you, that's what it is with us. Thank you. So yeah. Uh, one day I want to do a thing where I'm like, okay, you indie company, if I'm big enough, uh, give me ten dollars and I'll perfectly just play your game for a bit and review what I can. <laughs> because sometimes you find those cool indie games that you're like, I want to spread this around. Into the world of Skibbity Toilet. Yeah. Not a joke. You'll be I don't even know what Skibbity Toilet is, and I kind of don't want to know because anything involving the toilet, I don't want to know. Uh, I'll quickly explain it. It's a, uh, it was, it's a thing where this one person made a bunch of like weird content that basically appeals to younger children, oh. basically like kids in their t uh, early to mid teens and even really young adults, like those in the twenties and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It got really popular because it actually had a message, but because of how popular it got, the creator ended up becoming a giant dick and essentially uh. copywriting any every, like. It was really uh. cool. People people were like, hey, this person's sending a message. They understand what it means, but as soon as they got too popular, they started copywriting everything. Yeah, they decided and to be. People, then they decided to become what they hate, what they were fighting against, and everyone's just like, "Wow, you this really is... are a villain." If I ever become that big, I will try my hardest to stay as humble as possible. But I... basically, but basically, Matt, I'm gonna be honest. Skibbity toilet is brain rot. It, it's that's, legitimately that's... brain rot. That's what I thought. That's why I didn't want to deal with it. Also, yeah, that school bus terrifies me. Objects are no longer your friend, yeah. and you oh. will die at the hands of a Funko Pop. However, Wait, what? Some of these deviations can be tamed. There was walking clothes. Craft and survive. This why are the mushroom people from? Why is there a dragon man here? Addicted to that's a deviation. Remember how I said you, you could tame stuff? That's one of the things you can tame. Oh. Just, just think. Just honestly think, Pokemon. Power World creature collecting games, but with a more eldritch twist on them. That this, that's essentially one's human. This makes me feel like it's someone's fever dream that everything's happening in a dream where you're fighting nightmares with your good dreams. It's possible. I literally know nothing about the game because no one wants to explain it when they get sponsored by it. It's a lot of fun. It's like when I asked people. That sounds like when I asked my friends back in high school what Homestuck was, and they just kept saying it's a thing. I'm like, that's not telling me what it is. Uh, now, man, I'm afraid. Like... I'm afraid that is exactly how to explain oh. Holmes. Vissimatic like... capitalist fears mm. the self-sufficient rice farm. I like the bee. It looks cute. The game on Steam using my yeah, the bees are the the below. There are very few insects that I like, including bees, moths, and roly polies. That's about it. If you're any other type of bug and you come near me, I will kill you. No exceptions. Oh my God, really? I'm sorry, I had to turn ads on because my they were messing with my ad blocker. <laughs> what? Shadows of Doubt takes place in an alternate timeline where Ronald Reagan was crushed to death by his karmic death. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that means. Actually, our new president, I gave up on trying to understand this man. Coca-Cola is now the president. The righteous task of filling ghettos with crack cocaine. Unfortunately, the definition has expanded. You are the ghetto. Tensions are high. Crime is rampant. The only true justice is in the shadows. The shadows what? of doubt. But uh, oh. I doubt that. I checked the shadows. You know what I found? Me stealing your diamond, <laughs> battering your wife, and reporting you for domestic abuse. What? <laughs> can do that in the game? <laughs> Why? I don't. I don't 
Well, I gave up on this guy. He's, he's gonna it's nothing be uses the crap out of me. I just need a higher social credit score so I can get <laughs> out of this hellhole. The actual <laughs> game is, on its face, a detective simulator. Wow. Oh. Simulating everything. Starting oh. the game generates an entire city, populates it with citizens that each have their own jobs, interesting hobbies, and of course, homicidal fantasies. Murder is like romance in a male prison. It requires a perpetrator and a victim. And everything in between is a trail of clues left in their wake. What? Your job is to follow those clues, find the perp, and bring them to But yeah, he's... Trademark so basically problem. you're a detective in a simulated world, or a simulated city. That's why I'm getting from this. Through all the nonsense. You okay, Fable? <laughs> yeah, I just... I just saw a really stupid meme on my Discord, and I'm just like, oh my. I had to American instantly spirits, type. Premium quality organic tobacco. So Wait, what? Your trench coat, scoop out your cone cells with a spoon, and let's get to work. Step one, we need to break into the crime scene and steal everything. <laughs> what? What the victim would have wanted. After that, we can start looking for clues. Who died? They're stealing they their die? drinks. And when did they become dead? Make sure to get their prints while you're going through their wallet for these chains. <laughs> what? Did they live alone? If not, find their partner. Single Why is the detective and also a hobo? I don't understand. To have friends. The only time <laughs> Why is he stealing loose change? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> meet another person. No, man. I'm murder. so scared so, now. <laughs> You're scared. Me, a I'm scared. The detective's a hobo. Everyone's broke here. Oh. During your escape, doorknob, light switches. Yeah, that actually makes sense. Looking for uh, fingerprints around doorknobs and light switches. Inside of a woman's toilet bowl, anything is possible. Did the killer leave the murder weapon or drop a calling card? We did the easy part. It only gets uh. harder from here. But first, the case board. As you work through a case, you can pin any relevant information to the board. As you collect more evidence, the game will automatically draw links between uh. existing information. That's actually nice. Diligent notes. Use color-coded threads and organize every possible lead. Or you can do none of that and put <laughs> random shit together and follow your schizophrenia. I can't, <laughs> what? can't solve this mystery on a physical plane. I need crystal meth to go to Hyperborea and ask Yakub directly. And when you're what the hell is he talking about? I'm so in confused and scared all at once. Break into their computer and check for emails. Open their address book, see if they made any recent calls. Now, it's about uh. lunchtime, but we gotta get our hands dirty first. Find the landlord's office, break in, check their files mm -hmm. on every tenant, then break into okay. their computer and check the CCTV. Every security camera in the game takes photos every few minutes. Every oh, that's useful. Showing a person gets saved to a 24 hour buffer, so you want to get to it as soon as you can. As you go through the footage, you should recognize every tenant, so print out anyone unknown, anyone who went near the victim's house, and anyone remotely suspicious. Mm. Right, now we can go to lunch. Now, we have plenty of leads to follow up. We need to find each potential suspect and cross-reference their information. Look, okay. I'd love to keep holding your hand, but I can't. Each case is unique. So the best That's interesting. The game is to tell you what I've been through. The first time I ever okay. played this game, I ignored all the instructions, opened the <laughs> fridge, and ate raw pork. I got Why? Sick. <laughs> I was your first action be to open the fridge and just eat whatever in there. <laughs> nauseous I couldn't answer the telephone and spent the next 10 minutes <laughs> with the controls to try to get in bed to sleep off of food poisoning that was a tutorial so the phone kept ringing the entire time then I talked to a you okay Abel I don't know anymore <laughs> I really don't know Fables unfortunately I really died. Don't know. I oh, yeah, this game is confusing, and this man is even more confusing. A random civilian, my hand slipped, and I accidentally tried to arrest him. <laughs> like hell you are, he said. He How do you accidentally try to arrest someone? What does that mean? I think he clicked the wrong button, and then they pulled out, pulled out a shotgun and blasted him. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna just randomly try to arrest someone and then they pull out a gun for no reason. Oh my god. This I game can't. A few I can't. <laughs> <laughs> they keep turning off the light switch and they keep turning it back on. Any given time, they're all uh, quite stupid. 
Hey, buddy, I'll pay you a hundred bucks to fuck off and let me crash your apartment. Okie dokie. Wait, what? Go back to sleep. That's... What? Did you, did you just shoot someone? You just <laughs> shot someone. I apologize. This usually never happens. This what? This has the collective IQ of a developmentally challenged toddler. So the optimal play style is to be an antisocial menace. Sure, the game has stealth mechanics like alarm systems, air ducts, and lock picking. But, um, I don't have time for that. <laughs> just close the door on him, then when he unlocks it, he fucking <laughs> bashes it through to hit him and knock him over. <laughs> I don't know who Reggie the YouTuber is, uh, Corn. Hello, ma'am. Have you seen anyone suspicious? Uh huh. Here, take this. What? Upgrade. <laughs> Wait, you sold her a broke <laughs> A Coke take can? This, which alter your genetics to become a better fighter, better lover, and most importantly, a better consumer of starch cola. You're supposed to earn them from side jobs until you learn of a more effective method called beating the shit out of your neighbor <laughs> and breaking into their safe. To top it all off, there's no long-term penalty for crime. Wait, the what? The exterior door is linked to a complex series of tubes that detects when I leave a building, sending out a pre-recorded YouTube apology that makes a part of the record. I don't know. I forget my actions. I could be caught on 4K murdering several people with a sword, but the instant <laughs> I go outside, I'm a changed man. If what? What? <laughs> it's gay. Want something, I take it, run away, and come back like nothing ever happened. But my head this hurts. It's been confusing this fall. Utilities. Yes, Seth definitely is. You can easily cover all your expenses by committing more crime than what? actually solve. The only real use for just throw a plate at a man and play with the bizarrely detailed furnishing system. And once you've played enough to create the he's innocent till proven guilty. No, for Seth, it's guilty till proven innocent. You're ready to mitigate. Oh, I feel like this Seth is cool guilty till guilty. The case and guilty till guilty. Sleeping will pass the time. Yeah. Feed buff when you wake up. So you hop in bed, goon for 36 hours straight, and when you get a new murder notification, hop out of bed, break your own window, and what? Did you just say goon? Below. Yes. And now for some reason he's jumping out his own window because and we're genetically modified to be immune to fall damage. What? You can use well rested to sprint to the crime scene while chugging your morning coffee. This is not only faster than the cops it's often faster than the killer okay, wait what the way you're meant to pass time between cases is side jobs is Think he like speed running this game or something limited information because some information is more helpful than others the difficulty is completely <sighs> random oh you want me to steal from someone but you only know his phone number that's easy i can just call the number and check the call box to see where it was rooted oh. oh he's on the floor below we take those but what about this one i've only got his first initial fingerprints build and blood type oh yeah very helpful at this point you may as well tell me i I'm looking for a circumcised male in a small town of New York. I could just go the phone book for every name with the same initial, but I've got an even better idea. Go but to yeah. City Hall and what? open up the government database. This has records of every single citizen in the game. You're meant to type at least two characters to get any results, but this includes space. Naturally, everyone has a last name, so everyone oh. has space and a letter in their name. Now you can go through the entire database in alphabetical order and print out every single person's information. What the hell? I don't think that's legal. Because that sounds insane. You okay, Fable? I'm so confused. I well, we have fully fused. You had will just solve itself. We have fully confused Fable, everyone. Uh. Yeah. But we're not done. If you have the mental fortitude to sit there for a real life half hour, congratulations. You just no. ruined the game. Now your character will solve cases the nanosecond you get them. Wait, what? Okay. Mm. Mm hmm. What? Okay, so the victim was poisoned by a stalker neighbor for not loving her enough, but the victim did manage to get a shot off before expiring. She what? can't go to the hospital, so she's probably limping home as we speak. That took less than two minutes. Personally, I don't use the government database. I get my evidence the old-fashioned way, following the woman is? home to her place of residence and hiding inside her septic tank. <laughs> what? And fire. When they discover my body, the police will do the rest. One time, I checked the victim's work computer and realized she cheated on her husband at the hotel he worked okay. at while he was visiting his sick mother. Oh, wow. Wow. I paid him that's a, a that's a fucking terrible. 
Silence is violence, and only the guilty Hi, refuse Dad. the law. So, Hello, what Dad. Any ethical private eye would do. Follow him into the bathroom and beat the shit out of him. <laughs> what? He uh, didn't do it. <laughs> what? Site, he was probably just rude to me because I had the same social credit as the homeless man I shanked on the way to work. <laughs> Embarrassed, I resorted to using the method real cops use to catch killers. And that I is? I my ass eating donuts and wait for them to kill again. Hoping <laughs> the next murder is easier to solve. <laughs> 11 donuts in, I get a notification. Rush to the scene of a crime. And on my way there, yeah, turns out it was just their IT guy who murdered her for being <laughs> dead weight at her own company. In what? Summer, that is the dumbest reason to murder someone I've ever heard. <laughs> what is happening? There's a this, lot of they're all in the warp. That is what they're doing. They're, they're all in the warp. In the, in the super the warp. <laughs> Yes, in the super warp. Even if you give the right password, and sometimes right all the foot traffic causes a congestion where everyone gets stuck on the same staircase, and the only way to. I mean, it's not the dumbest thing in real life. I've heard even dumber reasons that people have tried to kill someone. Like this one guy who drove all the way to a different city or flew, took a plane to kill a guy for because he said something mean on a dead video game to him once. hammers in their face, but for a game made by a small team of Albanian immigrants on the budget of a kidney stone, it's really impressive. What is a There's no other game that captures the ambience what? of living in modern-day Shanghai, slurping my MSG noodles as I listen to the soft drizzle of acid rain. Many games struggle with procedural generation. Generally, I don't even like it. It's just another buzzword for infinite slop. But Shadows of Doubt succeeds because it creates nonsense. And because true crime will always be more bizarre than any simulation, the situations true. it creates are not only compelling... True, people kill each other for some dumb reason sometimes. And remember, Once Human launches on July 9th. Download the game for free right now. As always, uh, more content to come, so stay Just start tuned. punching people. To the many members of the Merchants Guild. Generally sometimes I want to try the game Seth talks about, other times I'm just confused by why he even played them to begin with.